which you guys today we're taking a look at how to stop windows spying in one minute quite a few people have asked me to take another look at the host file on windows 11 and how you can use it to block certain domain names and ips calling home to microsoft from your computer now the host file has been around with windows for many years and you can use it to block a lot of known domain names and ips which are known to microsoft and stop them from sending information back. So here is our host file, and all you need to do here is make a copy of this and then send it to your desktop. Now I have made a video on this topic uh, before, but I wanted to make an update video on here because there is actual a list now that is being constantly updated, and I'll show you that in a second. So I've made a copy of our hosts file to our desktop here, and all I'm going to do is rename this one to dot bk for backup and that is now safe that is just a plain host file here all we need to do now is edit our host file that we've got here so let's go ahead and uh, i'll just drop this down here and we can open this up inside notepad and we can then edit it but first off we're going to need to get ourselves some ips and domain names to put into our hosts file so let's go ahead and open this up with notepad here so once we've got this open you'll see inside here this says this is a sample host file from microsoft tcp forward slash ip for windows this file contains the mappings of ip addresses and host names each entry can be kept on an individual line the ip address should be placed in the first column followed by the corresponding host name or ip address and the host name should uh, be separate with at least one space. So what we need to do here now is get ourselves a list of domain names and IPs that we can block. Now, a lot of these IPs and domain names can be harvested from, say, Wireshark when you run it on a clean system. It's going to be connecting to Microsoft. But someone has done all the hard work for you and put it up on GitHub. As you can see here, we're looking for hosts and we're looking for Microsoft, Windows Office, and MSN. So if we click on this one right here with the link, this will open up a document which will allow us to copy all of the content inside. And you can see here, he keeps it updated quite a bit. So all you need to do here is highlight all of this information and put it in your host file and keep coming back to check because these will be updated on a regular basis. Now, these are going to be blocking known domains and IP addresses that Microsoft use to harvest data from your system. Now, if you run Wireshark, you're going to see a lot of domain names from different countries connecting to your system and basically pulling off data. And a lot of this is going to be to do with analytics and other things like that, that Microsoft like to harvest from your system. It's up to debate what they collect and what they don't collect. But I think it's clear they have made a web post explaining the sort of information they do collect. And you can also use the uh, data uh, viewer program that they offer to view all the information that is being harvested from your system. So all we need to do here is highlight all of these and we're going to quickly copy these and then we're going to go back over to our host file and we're going to paste them right inside here like so. All you need to do then is save this file and put it back into the location you just saved it from. And this will then block all of these places like this one right here. We'll make some copies of two of these domain names and we can test some of these. Uh, and I'll show you how to test them as well, just using command prompt. So what we're going to do now is click file, click save. And all we need to do here now is put this host file back in the location. So let's go ahead and open the location up right here. And I'm just going to put this back into here. And this will be our hosts file because we made a backup of our original. So I'm just going to quickly cut and paste this in here like so. Click continue and it's now done. And that's it. Pretty much that simple. Now, if you look at the hosts file here, you can see it's grown in size because we've added content to it. So all we need to do now is do a quick check to see whether it is blocking these particular domain names. So all we need to do is open up command prompt, type CMD in the search and open this up and we can do a search for one of those domain names by pinging it inside here so we'll do ping and we'll do space and we'll put the 
one right in here and you can see it says ping request could not finish the host analytics.trafficmanager.net please check the name and try again that's because it's been blocked and that means it can't call home to microsoft now i don't believe for one minute that this is going to completely disable windows 11 telemetry altogether but it is a good step towards blocking a lot of this stuff now remember microsoft is a multi-billion pound uh, company and basically they would probably have thousands of these domain names harvesting information and it's going to be very difficult so let's quickly copy one of these right here and i'll quickly remove this from the list here and we'll go back and we'll save this and we'll put this back into the hosts section where we've uh, just copied it out of and what i'm going to do is remove this and we can test it and then i'll put it back so let me just quickly show you how this works. So we're going to go back into command prompt here by typing CMD and open up command prompt. We can now ping that actual uh, domain name here. So go ping and we'll ping this one here. And you should see you are now getting a reply back from that particular uh, domain name. So if we go back into the host file and put that back in and block it, you'll see that it won't respond and it won't be able to call back home to Microsoft, which means whatever information they're harvesting using that domain name will not go back to Microsoft. And that's how it works in theory. How good this is at blocking all of the telemetry is up for debate. Again, it's a good step towards stopping what you can. Like I've always said, you won't be able to 100% stop all of the telemetry. It's just a good sort of first step of blocking as much as you can so now we can go ping and do this again and you can see now i've added it back into the hosts file we're getting ping requests could not find the host and it gives you the domain name because it's been blocked now you can use this in conjunction with other apps like shut up 10 or any other apps like that that are going to block uh, telemetry or try to stop telemetry you can use a group policy editor and you can turn some stuff off and use this method as well and this is about as good as it's going to get for you on a windows system whether it be windows 10 windows 11 it doesn't matter they all have this data and it is going to send data back but you've done all you can do as a user to try and block as much as you can uh, but whether it's going to be 100 percent of blocking all telemetry on your system is going to be up for debate. And again, I don't think you'll be able to completely 100% stop all telemetry, but it's a step in the right direction. And it's about as good as it's going to get for you as a user of Windows systems. And what they collect and what they don't collect is also going to be up for debate. Again, all I do is show you videos that can help you Protect your privacy as best as you can. So if you're one of those people that really want to try to block as much as you can going back to Microsoft, then this is what you can do. If you're one of those people that really don't care, then this video is not for you. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.